awesome. Hey there, decision chefs. Welcome back to our psychology kitchen, where we cook up some delicious nuggets of wisdom to help you navigate life's challenges. Today, we're putting on our chef's hats and aprons to delve into the art of decision making. Cooking up decisions, a skill you can master. Making decisions is a skill, bro. Just like nailing that perfect omelet. With a dash of practice and a pinch of a structured approach, you can be a Michelin star decision chef in no time. Defining the problem. Like choosing the right recipe for a dinner party, you got to clearly define your problem before you can start making decisions. If you're baking a cake, you're not going to start with a roast chicken recipe, am I right? Considering all options. Once you've got your recipe, you've got to gather your ingredients. This means considering all possible options when making a decision. You've got to think about what could add flavor or totally ruin the dish. Evaluating your options. When you've got your ingredients, you've got to balance them to create a tasty meal. It's the same with decisions. You've got to evaluate your options based on their potential impact. Objectivity in decisions. Just like keeping a cool head when the kitchen's heating up, you got to keep emotions from clouding your judgment. It's important to stay objective, dude. Considering long term consequences. You've nailed your signature dish, but now you want to add a new ingredient. It's crucial to consider the long term consequences, not just the immediate impact. Weighing decisions. Making decisions is like a taste test. You've got to weigh up the different factors, just like balancing the flavors in a dish. Seeking decision advice. Ever been in the kitchen and you're not sure if your dough is too sticky or your sauce is too thin? Sometimes you've got to call in a sous chef for some advice. Making decisions is no different. If you're unsure, ask someone you trust. Remember, though, you're the head chef here. The final decision is all yours. Committing to decision. Once you've got your recipe down, it's time to follow it. Sure, you can make some tweaks here and there, but you've got to commit, dude. It's like sticking to the recipe on your grandma's famous apple pie. You've made your decision. Now follow through with the action. Learning from past decisions. Ever had a kitchen disaster? A cake that didn't rise or a burnt steak? It sucks. But you learn from it, right? Decision making is the same. You've got to learn from your past decisions, whether they were Michelin star winners or straight up kitchen nightmares. Recognizing inaction as a decision. So you're standing in the kitchen, staring at all the ingredients, but not cooking anything. That's a decision too, bro. Not making a decision is a decision. It's like deciding to order pizza instead of cooking. Sometimes it's the right choice. Sometimes not. Just be aware, dude. Understanding the problem. You know those cooking showdowns where chefs get a mystery box of ingredients? Making decisions can feel like that. You got to understand the problem, gather information, identify alternatives. It's like figuring out how to turn durian and marshmallows into a gourmet dish. Evaluating alternatives. Now you're knee-deep in flour and the clock is ticking. You're evaluating each alternative, thinking about potential consequences. It's like deciding whether to add that last whisk of cream. Will it make your dish divine or a disaster? Implementing your decision. You've made your choice, bro. You've decided that caramelizing those marshmallows is the way to go. Now it's time to plate up and serve it. Implement your decision and be prepared to stand by it. Learning from results. When the judge tastes your creation, you'll know if you've nailed it or not. After making a decision, evaluate the results. If you achieved Michelin star status, remember what got you there. If it's a flop, remember that too and learn for next time. Improving decision making skills. Now, just like any Iron Chef, your skills improve over time. Keep practicing your decision making, bro. And over time, you'll be dishing up decisions like Gordon Ramsay dishes up, well, you know. 
trusting your judgment. In the kitchen and in life, you've got to trust your gut. But be confident in your decision-making ability. You're the master chef here, no one else. So trust your judgment and own your kitchen. Decision-making and life outcomes. Good decision-making is like knowing how to whip up a perfect souffle every time. It can lead to better outcomes in your career, relationships, and personal goals. It's the secret ingredient to a successful life, dude. Decision-making and success. Just like being a top chef requires making tough calls in the kitchen, good decision-making is a key leadership skill. It's essential for personal and professional success. So get your chef's hat on and start cooking up some good decisions, bro. And there you have it. The art of decision-making served up like a gourmet meal. If you dug our cooking metaphor and picked up some rad decision-making tips along the way, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Share this video with your buddies who might need a little help in the decision-making kitchen. And remember, we're here to help you cook up some awesome decisions. Keep practicing, keep improving, and soon you'll be the Wolfgang Puck of decision-making. Remember, bro, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Catch you next time and stay awesome. Awesome.